Welcome guys, Stone here. We got some information on Black Ops 3, including details for multiplayer. We only saw this quick glimpse of zombies and there will be a beta coming if you pre-order. And exosuits are gone now with a slower secondary thrust jump. No more exo abilities dashing left, right, and all over the place. More of a secondary jump. In addition, while running, hearkening back to Titanfall, as well as swimming, you can dive underwater. This is a multiplayer map, as well as shoot underwater. We'll also have the classic custom classes, but in addition, you get to bring in a special ability or special weapon. One of them being a giant one-shot cannon from any range, a gravity smash, which will smash you into the ground doing an AOE explosion, one-shot killing anybody within the radius. Next is the gauntling gun ability, which turns your hand into just a gauntling gun. A next clip will show the crossbow, which is just a one-shot kill that'll end up exploding the person, as well as a glitch that I heard T. Martin talking about, which will allow you to go back in time three seconds, teleporting you back to where you were three seconds ago. So in addition to your classic class that you're going to be going into, you can customize every time you respawn. You'll have this ability that you'll choose before you go in, and it's actually, again, similar to Titanfall in that you'll get it just like the Titan two to four times per game. You'll get this two to four times per game based on a timer that will go faster if you get kills, if you play the objective. We've also found out that gun camo will be customizable with 64 layers on the left top and right side each where you can customize your camo completely with of course standard camo still in the game and a special customization process with attachments where you can have as many attachments as you want trading off your other things it's the same top or you pick 10 system where you have 10 points to spend and you can fully customize guns with paint camo attachments and then save that specific gun also, your character's design will now be based on what ability or what specialization you're using that I was previously talking about. Treyarch's also bringing this gameplay style back to the three-lane classic Call of Duty, optimizing it on about two levels of verticality rather than three or four. Of course, score streaks are back as well. Classic UAV, there's a classic RC car that now hovers. It can go on walls. A Wraith, which is pretty much your stealth attack chopper. Some spike balls that roll around on the map, almost like attack dogs. They get dropped off. They roll around crushing people. G1 unit robot that uh, will run around the map. There's a beast killing people for you, as well as a mothership, which is like a VTOL warship. Two additional players can even get in it and shoot players on the ground as well. This game's only being developed for the next gen, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. And from what I've been hearing, they're trying to really recapture the PC guys as well, playing a much greater focus on that. The new thing with campaign is that it's actually going to be co-op up to four people. And then talking a little bit more about zombies, it's going to have its own progression system. Just like multiplayer has its own levels, its own unlocks, zombies is going to have its own completely separate thing as well. And they really focused on making this big. It's almost its entirely own separate thing. They also tried to make it more fluid. So if you're playing a multiplayer game, you can switch over to playing multiplayer in zombies. But they had an additional year to work on this game entirely. With Sledgehammer developing Advanced Warfare, that gave them even more time to further develop zombies as well as a multiplayer. They also had more time to work on the competitive side. They said they really played a strong focus on the just casual competitive but also the more straightforward esport type competitive which is something that historically Treyarch did do better and supported more than the other uh, developers. And finally, it was asked, what about recording your gameplay, saving your epic moments? And they said, pretty much, we're Treyarch, of course. This is something that theater mode was in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, extremely popular there. And this definitely seems like the biggest Call of Duty yet. Leave a rating if you enjoyed this four minute recap of everything that's come out. And let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. You've been following my channel, you know I love Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. The last two CODs didn't settle too well with me. I started venturing into some other games, but I don't know. This one's got me intrigued, but I'm not going to get too hyped for it yet. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Stellmount64, signing out.